Hello, Gareth here and we're going to do a 15 minute watercolour sketch of a snow scene. So we're going to paint something a bit like this. So we're basically using three brushes and three colours. So the details are below but basically we're using a hake, a bamboo brush and this liner. And the three colours we're using are Halo blue, alizarin crimson and yellow ochre but there will be details below so um, just look there. So here we go. Now the first thing I'm doing is wetting the sky area. And then I'm going to get some yellow ochre. Here we go. And then I'm going to get yellow ochre but thicker mix. So it's the same colour, but just thicker. And then I'm going to add some red. Here we go. And it's just pure red on the paper and just blend it in. And then using my bamboo brush, because I don't want this to take up a lot of space, just a little, I've got my pure blue, and maybe about here, I'm just going to do a little bit of blue sky. So in these paintings, it's part of my aim is to just get you to free up with watercolour, to paint loosely. But even for me, that can sometimes be difficult. Look, there we go, that's nice. Now at the bottom, what I really want to do is a kind of murky orange colour. So a little bit of yellow ochre. A touch of red and maybe even a slight touch of blue and then let's see yeah so it's really all about having fun but uh, that said sometimes I'm going to mess up these paintings so I don't want to but that's what will happen but sometimes the good discoveries are in the mistakes you make. So I hope I've got the courage just to show you the way I paint and to paint in a free and loose way and that you'll benefit from that. We'll see. So the final thing I want to do are some grey clouds. Now maybe this sky is a bit too grey but um, I'll do the same kind of thing but on a well just less grey because look at that it's so beautiful this is what happens when you mix colours on the paper <clears throat> rather than in the palette sorry a bit of a dry throat <clears throat> it's a bit early in the morning still and So this is quite a nice purple actually I'm making here. Oh, and watch out for splatter. It does happen a lot. And then let's have a cloud here. Then one, two, 
on here to hide that mistake, that bit of splatter. And then maybe that's about it. And then at the bottom, just a few marks going across. But be careful, you don't want too much. And maybe just one there. One, two, three. And then a little down here. And at the mo at the bottom, sorry, at the bottom, if you can, get this dry brush effect. It looks good. It looks very good. Okay, so that's the sky done. Now we're going to do this um, ground at the bottom. And I want this kind of murky orange colour. Here we go. And I want a little bit of a dry brush effect. So I sweep across very quickly. Now I am using a hake, but if you want to use just a normal flat brush, it might work just as well, to be honest. And then I'm just darkening that, like that. There we go. That's quite nice. I might even do just a little bit of this purple. So blue and red. Okay, and uh, I should have made that a bit softer. So I just wash this out. There we go. And then, this is very difficult, but if you do it right, it looks nice. A little bit of tissue. And then fold it, fold it, fold it until you get this hard corner. And then what we do is rim lighting like this. And I keep folding the paper to get a clean line. Let's try again. Oh, yeah, looks very nice. Maybe this is a bit uneven. I need to make it more horizontal so I'm just going to have a go at doing that so I didn't get the rough bottom that I would like oh yes I am now and one more thing I'm going to add so this is wet in wet we're doing now is maybe blue here okay not pure blue a touch of red and then this is going to be some mountains in the distance so I made a mistake there it should have been pure blue pure blue it will go dirty I think you see it becoming a bit dirtier and we don't want it pure blue because it's not going to look so natural but if we start off with pure blue it will mix with the colours on the paper and then it will become a more subdued colour there we go so let's just leave that to dry no I forgot something get my liner brush get some yellow ochre and then we're going to do some lines like this. Now the problem with this is it looks so good, you just want to continue. But the more you do, the less effective it is. You can even do pure water like this. So let's leave that to dry 
and then we've got one more bit to do. I might do a quick spray. Okay, so now it's dried out. These um, grasses have um, they've blurred a bit, but I still think they're good enough. So what I'm going to do next is this tree, this fence and some bushes. So here we go. So I'm going to get my bamboo brush and I'm going to mix all these three colors, my blue, my red and my yellow ochre. And that's a bit too gray too much yellow ochre so I add a bit more red and I think that will do so this is the nervous bit here we go Ooh. try again and you want it to get thinner taper off that's one and then make it wider at the bottom so the first part is always the most difficult and that's not good because it's all the same length there we go so I know that doesn't look so great yet but now we're going to get the liner brush and hopefully we're going to create a good looking tree I must admit even I'm a bit worried whether this is going to work or not it's starting to look good and then slowly I start to go a little bit crazy with these strokes now you do need a good liner brush and you don't want a little blob on the end it's best to start from the middle or from the trunk and go out but sometimes I get carried away and I start from the outside and go in often it works but not always oh there we go and we have to be a bit quick because it's drying out yeah I think that works then we're going to do this fence so here are the posts and I'm making the posts quite wide probably wider than they really are this is actually all from my imagination so just having fun so just playing around yeah and then we've got some bits coming across like this horizontal bits it doesn't have to be too accurate and it doesn't have to be done too carefully like that and then finally we're going to do some bushes so yellow ochre and then a little bit of this gray mix so we want something <clears throat> quite subdued like that
that's good and we don't need too much like that yeah it's not too bad it's I'm not so happy with it but there we go and then maybe possibly just one more here probably needs just a few little bits here possibly and it's it's expanding much more than I wanted it to but there we go and then I'm going to have my shadows so I have to speed up because this is supposed to be only 15 minutes and I'm going to have them coming across like this because that looks nice in terms of composition so basically it's a purple mix but you have to decide whether you want it to be more red or more blue at the moment it's a bit too blue oh there we go so this is a kind of bluish purple I've done okay and then here just a touch of a shadow connect that fence a bit better okay and there we go a very simple snow scene I might want to just darken it a touch make a thick mix and darken it just a touch here and here you have to be careful that it's still wet though and we can forget about that yeah so very very simple snow scene a very simple sketch please have a go and uh, I hope you have a good time bye for now